Dear friends, welcome to my channel Easy Quality Learning with another video Alcoa Plus. In this video, we will understand what is Alcoa Plus and what are the things which are to be discussed in Alcoa Plus and what are the concepts and examples of each clause. So in this, the contents are elements of Alcoa Plus, application of Alcoa, definition of each attribute. So let us start with elements of Alcoa Plus. So first element is attributable, second is legible, then contemporaneous, original, accurate, then complete, consistent, enduring and available. So these all the elements makes Alcoa Plus. So let us discuss one by one. So first is attributable. So if you will see a bookish definition, so it should be possible to identify the individual or computerized system that performed a recorded task when and when the task and who the task was performed. So if you want to understand in a simple language, then this is basically that each task should define that when it was executed and who has executed it. When our uh, documents define this particular two things, then we may say that our document is attributable. If you will take an example, then for each document, we are writing a date and time as well as after the completion of document or after the completion of uh, legible entries, we will make a signature. So, date and time means when it was happened and your signature means it will indicate that who has performed that activity. So, that is the meaning of attributable. The next is legible. The information should be readable and unambiguous in order for it to be understandable and of use. So, if we want to understand in a simple language, then whatever entries we are doing in our records, whether it is logbook, whether it is batch records, whether it is some other form of a document. So whatever entries are done, that should be readable, very clearly readable. So for legible entries, what we have to do? We have to give the exact space for doing the entries. It should not happen that uh, your uh, space is very less and in that space no one is able to do the uh, complete entry or clear entry and uh, the size of entry is very big the space is very less so we need to identify that how much space will be required for each entry and accordingly we need to assign the space in our formats and in computerized system if we will see if we are taking the computerized printouts or any sort of computerized document, then we should make sure that the printing is very clear and readable. It should not happen that printing is very light and it is not readable or overprinting is done due to some uh, computer issues so that the document will not be legible. Then third is contemporaneous. So all the entries what we are doing it should be contemporaneous so what is the definition the evidence of action event or decisions should be recorded as they take place online or simultaneously covering means whatever entries we are doing in our documents whether it is computerized system whether it is paper based system or whether we are doing entries of some logbook or whether we are doing entries of some different type of uh, forms or any analytical data sheets. So whenever the activity is performed, it has to be entered into the logbook. Like whenever we are doing the weighing of a sample, at the same time, once the weighing is done, we need to enter into the logbook that this sort of weighing is done at this time. And we need to make an initial. So, these type of entries are called contemporaneous entries. The next is original. The original record can be described as a first capture of information 
whether recorded on paper or electronically. So, whatever the first capture of the record is there, whether it is a, your printout, whether it is your uh, some sort of uh, uh, taking the readings uh, from instrument, so that is called the original record and when it is tra transcribed into some other form, then it is a modified document, but original entries will be the first capture which is done. In case of computerized system, you must have seen that whatever first record of uh, your HPLC system is there. So, some files are being made at the time of generation of chromatograms in your computer system. So, they are the first capture and whenever we are integrating those data and and after that we are taking the printouts. So, that printout is the second capture or second modified version of the our data. Then accurate records need to be truthful representation of facts to be accurate. So, whenever we are doing the documentation, so it is our duty that uh, uh, we need to make sure that whatever records we are uh, taking or whatever readings we are writing down or whatever your observations we are taking, they should be correct and they should be truthful. So, how we need to ensure that they should be truthful? If we are taking a weighing analytical balance, then we need to ensure that our analytical balance is qualified and it is well calibrated before doing the activity. If we are doing analysis on HPLC, then it need to be ensured that is in calibration range. And if we are doing some operation on uh, your FBD or RMG, then we need to ensure that our RMG is properly qualified and ready for use. So, that is called accurate. Then next one is complete. All the information that could be critical to recording and event. So, uh, let us suppose you have written some information on the paper, but along with that, if supporting information is not there, then that uh, the first information which is written, it is of no use. So, let us take the example of uh, again a weighing on analytical balance that you have done the weighing of uh, reference standard or working standard on an analytical balance and that weight uh, printout is taken. So, unless and until you do not write that what is that sample which has been weighed and what is the date and time and who has weighed it. So, that information is of no use and it is not complete. So, in order to make the information complete along with the readings, the additional information need to be available in the document. Then consistent, the information should be created processed and stored in a logical manner. Consistent means you can understand from an example that if we are writing a weight in our logbook, so if we have to write every day some entry like 1 kg, so first day we write 1.00 kg, on second day we write 1 kg, third day we write 1.0 kg and fourth day we write 1000 gram. So, all the entries are 1 kg only, but your entries are not consistent, means they are not following one uniform pattern. Similarly, if you will see in a computerized system, so whenever uh, you are taking a report of uh, IR or UV or uh, HPLC chromatograms, so the format is fixed. So, your document should be consistent. If it is generated 100 times also, it should be similar. Then enduring, the record should be kept in a manner such that they exist for an entire period specified in the system. So for to understand enduring that uh, whenever we are taking a printout uh, of uh, particle counters, so most of the time uh, the paper which is fed on particle counter it is thermal paper and after some time it fads up. So what we have to do? We have to Xerox it 
and we have to keep the copy also of that particular printout so that even if your record get faded on the original then also our entries will be preserved so our record will be remain in existence or remain valid for entire period of specified times then available the record shall be available for a review at any time during the required retention period accessible in readable format so whatever record we are having so it should be first thing available and it should be available in readable format whatever record we are generating at the time of execution of the activity so it should remain same till the end of the stipulated period so friends this was all about alcoa plus so different aspects of alcoa plus we have understood that uh, what are the different uh, requirements of alcoa plus and how we can follow this activities this need to be followed for paper based system as well as computerized system also i hope the contents of this video are useful if these are useful then press like button and share with others so others also can be benefited and this, if you have not subscribed my channel till date then subscribe and press the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel thanks for watching